Yeah, um, this other topic here about Bitcoin, I had to had to laugh um, because um, you know, still talking tech here, but now um, you know, cryptocurrency, where is it at? And I just find Bitcoin hilarious only because, well, I mean, it's kind of funny that it's, what is it, at 70 grand or something now, um, US dollars. Um, and then it, and then it's like dipping and going up and down. It's like the ultimate speculation market or, or something like that. But it just, um, it's making it challenging to figure out what, um, how you can predict where it's going to go and where it's going to fit in um, in terms of, practical uses on a day-to-day basis and there, there still seems to be this push to try and um uh make it into something that can be used that way but it still seems wonky in terms of uh practical use well this is the thing you know bitcoin's probably got marketing position on all the other uh, cryptos uh, you know bitcoin was never intended as a currency and it was never you know intended to do anything other than show that you could create a currency mm. and it's been adopted as a currency so i guess it's got some value to some people some people willing to exchange you know hard-earned dollars for something they can't see or touch the other cryptos which are interesting you know everything from ethereum through to uh, cardamon and whatever else Do- dogecoin or whatever they call yeah. it uh you know, uh, well, I don't, I don't know about that one, but some of the other ones actually have application uh, outside of purely a currency, i.e. they can be linked as tokens to to commodities of value. So we just don't know where this is going to go, I guess, uh, more broadly. Uh, I expect probably Ethereum, which has been, you know, set up and, and, and potentially... Uh, regulated in a way that it can be incorporated into, say, you know, the US economy seamlessly is there might might be a future value for that, might be a huge future value for that. Bitcoin, well, they're predicted it'll be $200,000 a coin by the end of next year. They seem to be tracking all right along those, but there's no guarantee, you know, at any point that Bitcoin won't be worth nothing tomorrow. So, well, isn't that the, uh, isn't <laughs> who that knows? The, but isn't that the, um, the key point? Point when when discussing uh, you know something like Bitcoin that um, it's almost impossible to predict yet everyone's wanting to try and predict um, <laughs> what's going to happen. Well, I guess that's how people make money on these things, you know. So uh, there, there's a lot of excitement, but uh, you know by anyone's tech standards, uh, Bitcoin's getting a bit old now. 10 yeah. years <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> time, time to move on to the next thing people well um that, that's why i like the other story around uh charlie munger lashing uh, crypto um and I, I, i'll see if i can find the quote that was in here that he uh um oh yeah i think the dot com boom was crazier in terms of valuation than even what we have now but overall i consider this era even crazier than dot com era I'm never going to buy a cryptocurrency. I wish they'd never been invented. Um, <laughs> but, but, I, but, I, but I guess you'd expect that from a, um, a traditional investor anyway who, I mean, he sounds like he wants to in, how was it? I think, um, I can't remember exactly where he said it, but it was uh, something along the lines of he wants to invest things that actually probably produce and do good things as opposed to speculate and or, and or do bad things. Well, since the GFC, even though that was meant to prevent all of these things from ever happening again, I think it's all been about speculation, low Mm. interest rates, lots of free money, and then, you know, you can only invest in so many Apple and Tesla shares before you have to invest in crypto, I guess, (laughs) and, you know. And, but I, I do like what uh, Charlie Munger is refer- referring to. I mean, you know, you look at the price of AOL back in the day and the fact it was able to buy Time Warner and, you know, like that they were, you know, talking about things as ridiculous as streaming high-definition video on 56K modems, you know, like on full screen. You know, it was... There, there was ridiculous talk, particularly around the internet back then and... You know, as it turns out, everything they were promising during the dot-com era, which is more than 20 years ago now, uh, finally has come true in 2020. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, you know, so maybe if you're looking at crypto, there's there's another 10, 
10 years before crypto really we can tell what value it has or what productive value it has. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of time for uh, investment and investment strategies to change in that time too. Well, when you consider, um, and I know I'm sort of drawing a long bow with this one, but just how money has been treated by, you know, in terms of spending by governments and um, the fact that it doesn't seem to matter how much debt and any any of these big institutions or countries are in um, these days, they can just keep spending. Um, and, you know, a bit, a bit like how, you know, the Reserve Bank can lend money to the government, but the government kind of owns the Reserve Bank, so they don't have to pay it back technically speaking and stuff like that and then you wonder well maybe in a world like that where it could potentially you know become meaningless maybe crypto that's when it steps into uh, its uh, its own um in the future well very true modern monetary theory which is what you're talking about where the reserve banks just give money to the government and the government owns the reserve bank and then you know under the carpet just uh, like eliminates the debt you know yeah. it's but, and, and what does that mean? You know, does it mean that we've been working for all the wrong reasons? Does that mean no one has to work anymore and no one has to be productive? Mm. Well, obviously, the world would stop if that was the case. But what's the motivation going to be? <laughs> well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because for all the talk oh, of um, for all the talk of crypto being uh, out there and uh, what is it really and all this sort of stuff, um, it, it kind of makes you then wonder about other things in the in the financial world in terms of what actually is real. Yeah, it is. It's, it's you know, it, it, this might be why we're in for a correction <laughs> because uh, things, you know, with COVID and what's happened over the last, you know, 15 years post-GFC, and, you know, obviously we are in uncharted waters and I guess if, if the governments can forgive their own debts, maybe that's a way out. But I... If not, at some point, uh, you know, it could all unravel and that won't be pretty.